Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about compound inequalities, and we're going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. So if I was given this inequality, 2n plus 7 is greater than or equal to 27, or 3 plus 3n is less than or equal to 30. Okay? Well, first thing, I need to solve each inequality individually. So I'm going to subtract the 7 to both sides here. Leaving me with 2n here is greater than or equal to 27 minus 7 is 20. I then divide by 2 to both sides, give me n by itself, is greater than or equal to 10. Or, solve the other one, I subtract the 3 to both sides, giving me 3n is less than or equal to 27. I then divide by 3 to both sides here, giving me n is less than or equal to 27 divided by 3 being 9. So now I have my two parts, n is greater than or equal to 10, or n is less than or equal to 9. Okay, we have our two ors here, our two possibilities. So I need to graph them. So let's go to the number line here. Oh, let's go put zero right here. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we really, really don't care what's going on here. But negative one, negative two. Probably could have made it a little better, but it's all good. So we said n is greater than or equal to 10. Well, at 10, it can equal 10. So let's put a closed circle right there at 10. And since n is greater than also 10, I'll put arrow to the right. Next one, n is less than or equal to 9. Well, it can equal 9, so I'll put a closed circle right there at 9. And since less than, I put my arrow to the left. And there we have it. We have a graph here that matches our final answer, our compound inequality, of n is greater than or equal to 10, or n is less than or equal to 9. So let's recap. We're given our two inequalities. 2n plus 7 is greater than or equal to 27, or 3 plus 3n is less than or equal to 30. I subtract the 7 of both sides, giving me 2n by itself on the left, is less, uh, greater than or equal to 20. Divide by 2 to both sides, and I'll have n is greater than or equal to 10. Here, I subtract the 3 to both sides, and then I divide it by 3 to both sides, giving me n is less than or equal to 9. I have my two parts now. Closed circle at 10, as well as 9, because it can equal both of them. So closed circle 10, closed circle there at 9. But n is also greater than 10, so from 10, I put my arrow to the right. And n is also less than 9, so I put my arrow to the left from 9. Now I have my graph here, which represents all values that n can be. And those values are n can be greater than or equal to 10, or n can be less than or equal to 9. 